What is up my beautiful people? It is Adamo back on Italian Football TV and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about all the new signings at AC Milan and how I think that they will line up come the 2017-2018 Serie A season. Now I'll to give a fair assessment on this situation and truly observe who or who will not play for Milan and whether the team will or will not be the greatest team in the Serie A next season. Potentially win the Scudetto, I have to be fair and unbiased. Now people may make the claims, oh Adamo, you're a Milan fan. Says who? You're not going to prove it. I could be a Napoli fan. I could be a Roma fan. I could be a Fiorentina fan. I could even be a Juve fan for all you know. But you know, for the sake of the video, to give you the best content I could possibly provide, I have to give you an unbiased proper opinion and to do that I'm going to show you exactly why I am going to, going to give you guys the content that you're looking for because I know you want somebody who's not going to take sides or talk stupid because they may follow or may not follow the team. So let's just get into the video. You may have noticed this little piece of gold right here and uh, during this video I'm going to be paying homage to one of the greatest and most satisfying AC Milan signings of all time and that is Mr. None Other Than Leonardo freaking Bonucci. Okay guys, I'm not trying to brag here, but it's how the saying goes. It's just, it's written in stone. When life gives you lemons, you sign Bonucci. Now for those who are not aware, Marco from IFTV is a Juve fan. Little message to my boy Marco. Uh, <laughs> you gotta take the L, man. You gotta take the L. We just signed Bonucci from freaking Juventus. What the hell's going on? What is going on? Now another thing that has sparked the interest in making this video for you guys is the confusion over how Vincenzo Montella is going to line up next season for Milan. There's a lot of possibilities, a lot of options, especially now with Bonucci. I'm gonna dissect all the possibilities and try to find the best possible option for Milan to go forward in the next upcoming Serie A season. I don't think many Milan fans would be upset if the transfer window closed tomorrow. If you look at the signings that they made, you got Kessie, Rodriguez, Bonucci, Bilia potentially, Andrea Conti, Andre Silva, so many players that have been brought into the squad. So you can't really complain if you are a Milan fan. Now let's talk formations as Milan have plenty of options going forward, especially with Bonucci being welcomed into the squad. You can play the notorious 4-3-3 that Montella is most known for or even the three at the back that he played at Fiorentina as well, which would better suit Bonucci, who has played that at Juventus practically his entire career and what made him the top three, top five, maybe even best center back that he is to this day. Now, should Milan line up with the 4-3-3, I could definitely see them going along with something like this with Donnarumma in goal, Rodriguez at left back, Romagnoli and Bonucci at center back and Andrea Conti at right back making up the defense. Now you can alter between Romagnoli, Bonucci and Musacchio playing those center back roles but I believe that Milan will be looking to keep the back line very consistent because you don't want to mix and match too much when you're dealing with defenders because they want to get used to players and knowing where everybody's going to be in certain scenarios which definitely helps when you have a consistent back line. Now in midfield you have the potential signing of Bilia replacing Montolivo in that Regista center defensive midfield role with Kessier and Bonaventura playing just ahead of him, making up the midfield. And in attack, you have Chalinoglu at left wing, which he has played at Bayer Leverkusen. Of course, he can play centrally, but he is not a stranger to playing out wide on the left flank with Andre Silva at striker and Suso at right wing. That may not be the most paciest of attacks, but I do think it is what Montella would be going for if he deployed the 4-3-3. Of course, you could play Jack Bonaventura at left wing instead of Chalinoglu, but I don't see Chalinoglu playing a deeper role at all. So I think logically it would make more sense to play Chalinoglu out wide. And let's not forget Milan were chasing Forsberg who does play in a central role but also plays very very well on the wing. But again is not to pace just the players so maybe this is a tactic that Montella is trying to exploit for Milan. A lot of people have been suggesting on Twitter the 4-3-1-2 something Milan played in their glory days with the exact same backline of course potentially playing Bilia in that midfield role again with Bonaventura and Kessier on the left and right side of the midfield and Chalinoglu playing centrally in the attacking midfield role with possibly Suso playing the second striker and Andre Silva up top as the number nine. But I do believe that Suso said he doesn't want to play centrally and I don't think that Milan will force him to play a position that he's not comfortable playing. But if they go three at the back, it is a completely different story. Definitely a potential formation as Milan have been linked to another top striker 
and <coughs> Aubameyang. Uh. I could see Donnarumma playing in goal with Romagnoli at left center back, Bonucci in the middle, and Musacchio at right center back. And then on the flanks, of course, playing wing back, you have Rodriguez and Conti making that full defensive line. And in midfield, once again, playing with the likes of Bilia and Kessier, forming a brute midfield partnership that will make up for the lack of numbers of central midfielders with their power and prowess. And up top, once again, you have Chalinoglu playing left forward or left wing, Andre Silva up top playing number nine, with Suso on the right wing, finishing a 3-4-3 formation. They could also play a 3-5-2, exact same back line thrown in there, same midfield with Bilia and Kessie, except Chalinoglu would be drifted centrally, and you would have the likes of Aubameyang playing up top, and Andres Silva right beside him. But as a Milan fan that I can neither confirm nor deny that I am, I would personally go with a 3-4-3 with the personnel that we currently have with Chalinoglu and Suso playing the wings and Andres Silva up top. But if they do sign another top striker in Aubameyang or Bilotti or somebody along those lines, maybe even Kalinic, I would accept starting. I would play a 3-5-2, putting them in that role. But most importantly, I value the three to back with Bonucci and starting a player of Musacchio's quality. Because if you look at Bonucci and how he plays in a four at the back, he's still very good. Don't get me wrong, he's a great player. He's played it in the City A, he's played in the Champions League, and he proves that he's still a top 10 defender in that formation. But you can't deny that in the three at the back, he's just so much better as a player. It allows him to be more free with his playmaking abilities and fits that central defensive role that he loves to play most. But more importantly, forget what I'm saying. I want to hear what you're saying in the comments down below. What formation you think Milan should be playing, what lineup and what players they should be deploying, whether it be a four at the back, a three at the back, and which variation of those formations. Let me know in the comments down below. And where do you think Milan are going to finish next season? If you ask me, I'm not going to overachieve. I'm not going to say something. I don't want to jinx it. So I'm going to play it safe and go with third place with maybe the likes of Napoli or Juve finishing first and the other finishing second with Milan just below them. That is if they don't sign any more depth players because you never know when a player could get injured or may underperform and flop. So who knows? But as I said, leave all your thoughts down below. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a like. It has been Adamo from Italian Football TV. And as always, peace out.